sand through the hourglass, so are the gators lives. Previously on Gators of Our Lives. Steve, he's missing. Hey, guys. Dude, how are you right here? I'm not real, Carl. You made me up. Man, I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me where the body is. It's, it's down in the basement. Yo, bro, everything's taken care of. Oh, thank you so much, man. Seriously, like, you've saved my life. I think there's someone at the door. You Carl? Yes? I'm Detective Kelly. I have a few questions I want to ask about the disappearance of a man named Steve. Admit that you did it! I didn't do it! Carl, just tell him the truth. It's the right thing to do. Shut up! Uh-huh. I'm sorry, did you just tell me to shut up? I was just saying. Stop your stalling. Admit what you've done. You have no alibi, no excuses, and you look guilty as fuck. We know you had something to do with his disappearance. Now tell us, what'd you do with Steve? I don't fucking know! <sighs> Come on, I've talked to your sister. She said you hate Steve. Is that true? I... I... He was with me. I'm I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm George, and this is my son Carl. And Carl would never do anything to hurt Steve. Steve was like a brother to him. They known each other since kindergarten. And despite the fact that Steve would time to time get under Carl's nerves, he would never ever do anything to hurt Steve. Why is George lying? So why didn't you tell me you were with your dad? I just didn't. Well, he tends to overthink things, and he was just worried, probably, that he was going to pull me into this whole situation. Now, we're wasting a lot of time here that we should be spending finding Steve. Well, all right, then. It looks like you're free to go. Um, so, if you guys can think of anything, have any other, uh, you know, clues or evidence or anything that you can think of, call me and tell me, and don't even think about leaving town, okay? Thank you, Detective, and we do appreciate your efforts. Why did you lie about being with me? You and I both know you had nothing to do with Steve's disappearance, right? Yeah, of course not. And the detective needs to be out there looking for him, not wasting all this time in here throwing around wild accusations. It's okay, son. Everything is going to be okay. I wonder how long they'll continue to look for me. Hopefully not long. Hopefully they give up soon. Maybe you should just turn yourself in. I mean, you are guilty. What if I told you about saying dumb shit, huh? I'm just saying, you did kill me. Just leave me alone, okay? Go away. Carl, Carl, I just got off the phone with Detective Kelly. They said they found his body. He's, Steve, he's, he's dead. What? Where? It was in a dumpster behind an alley. They said he got stabbed like 30 times. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Samantha. I'm so sorry. Do they have any suspects? I'm so sorry. He said that he said this thing happens all the time and that they barely ever get the guy. <laughs> Children, I'm so sorry for your loss. I will begin to plan Steve's funeral immediately. I can't believe you're gonna get away with this.